Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. And I want to thank the Magikarp Gamer Carp for being an awesome member for literally supporting me by being a YouTube member on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much the Magikarp Gamer Carp. You also mentioned down below that you are a member. And supporting me and if anyone else wants to shout out and uh become a member um or yeah yeah shout out and be mentioned and then you can become a member yourself on my youtube channel youtube uh dot com slash kev gooey game and again i want to thank the magic carp gamer carp for being the only one supporting me right now thank you so much i do appreciate it and of course i also do appreciate dragonfire um just really uh helping out a lot for uh for me at least uh just being there and uh, being available to actually uh test things because uh, there are a lot of issues with a lot with my motherboard especially and i yeah, the motherboard company did not call me back, which they said they were going to do within two business days. The second business day, they did not call me back. So I need to get in contact with them again, and then hopefully I don't have to really repeat everything I said before, which uh, do do. But not do do as in the fact that it's, you know, it, it's do do that I have to do that, you know, to repeat it. I hate repeating myself. Might as well just like copy and write it all out and copy and paste it and just paste it into like, you know, the, 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 the support chat and be like, bam, this is, this is what I, this is it. <laughs> this is what I talked about. I want to talk about this. Oh yeah. That, that, uh, the, the bright light thing the in the beginning. Yeah. That, that was more so to like to wake people up is, you know, the, the, they're, you know, they're probably waking up, uh, and then, you know, waking up and, you know, just, uh, turned on the, the, you know, the YouTubes and then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, oh, look at this video of, uh, Scotty and Hati or something. I don't know what's that, what's going to happen. And they, they <laughs> turn it on and it's like, bam, it's the beam of the sun. It's like, I'm awake. I'm awake. Wake up. All right. All right. Well, that was it. <laughs> So I found out that the audio issue uh, that I was dealing with uh, in the last episode, um, well, during the the, the VOD, the stream, um, but I mean, you saw it in the VOD, is the fact that uh, OBS is having issues with audio for some reason. I don't know what happened. I might have to downgrade back to the uh, first version of it, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, like, I had to, like, open and close the uh, the uh, program, like, 50 times, just to at least get the audio back to what it was. I don't know, like, what's happening. So, I don't know if they're just uh, in stank gas or something, that they, like, not showered or, or taking a bath after you know um after the moon got taken away which i'm pretty sure all the other gods in the other uh, locations m most likely are uh, very uh might, might be very upset about it which um comes into factor of like do other gods and goddesses even but they even like uh interfere in 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 these uh circumstances because the moon is very important to everywhere just saying
I think I might have broke Atreus. Because usually if you're able to move an NPC sometimes... Okay, I didn't break him, but... Sometimes if you're able to move an NPC who's just standing still, sometimes it just breaks their, their AI for some reason. It's like... I'm supposed to be standing here, but I got moved to this different location, so I don't think I need to follow my protocols of what I need to do next anymore in my coding. The Aner Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. He's a, tra he's a traveler? I never really... Got, you know, I never... That never really clicked for me. I thought he was... I thought he was just a, you know, a... Like, I thought he was actually like a, like a, like a, you know, like a generic uh, traveler, you know. Like a, you know, trap, you know, that traveling around locations, not, a, not the actual, like, traveler uh, uh, character or traveler type to fight and stuff. Yeah, I didn't want to break that earlier in case it... I hate these things. In case, uh, I, you know, it goes away or something. a lot of things that I can't, you know, attack in terms of animals or creatures. Alka. That I want to, it's more so of uh, experimentation to see if I could. I mean, if I'm like, um, who's the character that Batista plays in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? I forgot his name. I literally, my, my brain is like, yeah, I mean, it, it's like, if I move very slowly, you know, they will not notice me. I'll be invisible. Like eating the Yarg, the Zarg nut. See, look, I move so slowly, they didn't even notice me. 
Oh no! They noticed me. I was too big. Oh, Drax. Thank you, Drax. Bye. Nicely done. Oh, I, I love getting their power. What? Are they Careful, not brother. affected by that? Covered in bifrost. I love getting their bifrost stuff because I take their I take their uh, health down. Just because, uh, yeah, with their own power. So I'm assuming that the audio is uh increased a bit is probably the fact that um when when the audio was uh set the accessibility audio was uh you know set as um you know on um I think it was actually off so even though it was on it was actually off so like turning it back on and off kind of thing fixed itself because apparently there's still a lot of bugs in this game Surprising. I, I can't believe i got it i mean i got that airy All right, there has. Is that? Her <laughs> and Odin. Okay, Odin's Raven's gone. Yeah, so I just need to find one lore. Somewhere. Right in here somewhere. Oh yeah, if, uh, if, if, uh, not, not an ad. I'm not doing an, uh, an ad for them because I'm not paid. But, uh, there is a special of the Guardians of the Galaxies, uh, thing on the... The, the D plus. You should, you know, most likely know, you know, what service that is. <laughs> Let me spelling it out. Yeah. This person, I don't think cares. Holy, no, no, they care. Wow, that was insane. Verdant. Verdant? Does that mean green in uh, other languages? Verdant. The Vanir knowledge acknowledge the abundance of their realm, but the need to write it down is redundant. The beauty of Vanaheim speaks for itself. But, you know, you, you, you do gotta write it down at times to remember sometimes, you know? <laughs> History. <laughs> I make this on fire. Oh no, they just disappear like ghosts. Oh. I have a feeling I could get up there then. In due time. Up there. Is 
Dragonfire says true. <laughs> but what I said before, which I forgot what I was saying before too, I, I, my brain just, my, my HD brain just be like, Ah, oh, my glasses! I just had them repaired. Not repaired, but kind of uh, fit back in the uh, the uh, the lens because uh, the uh, the, fr the I'm the frame because the lens were kind of starting to pop out. Is the uh, stream smooth, by the way? Is the uh, like quality smooth, uh, or is it like uh, jittery or some um, stuttery in some way? I, I just need to make sure it's because sometimes uh, my what I'm seeing isn't really uh, the same as uh, what the viewers are seeing, chatters and bod friends. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Atreus literally just said, There she is again. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any, um, it doesn't seem to be like anyone's here. What? You just contradicted yourself. You just said that that lady was there. In smooth so far? Alright, that's good. I did change one setting, so I'm I'm hoping that it does uh help with that. And not you know, debuff. Are these stream catchers? I can't shoot at them. Okay, that's, that's great. Oh, watch. It's not gonna work. Oh, I was very wrong. Because the last time I did it, it didn't work for some reason. Oh, so there's Odin's Ravens here. Hoo! <laughs> 
Dwarven steel. Let me know if my mic is down too far away or something. I, uh, I'm just I'm trying to find a good position of the mic whenever I move it. So, uh, uh, so give me like a yay or a nay kind of thing if uh, whenever I move it, it's not good or something like that. Thank you, everyone. And uh, yeah, thanks, Dragonfire. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's not it. Like... That was actually that was actually the the pole thing to make it a pole. Oh, I didn't realize that. Is that uh, got that out of the way? I guess I'll see it when I get on the other side. Okay, and... here we go. What? Huh? Oh, okay, he just runs in there. It just full of danger, just run straight into there. Okay, gotcha. I thought he was trying to learn something about, you know, being patient or something. I, I don't know. Okay, I honestly do cannot see, see the... The bird. I see that thing, wherever that thing is. <laughs> Alright, it seems like a cutscene thing, which is why I'm gonna make it into a cutscene looking thingy. Wait, we've been here before. I think. Uh. Empty. Where'd they all go? Oh yeah, we have been here before because I left a bunch of stones around. That, that that's my signature. My that, that that's my signature. Is uh Wait, leaving. There's the moon. Uh, box down there. That's got to be it. Yeah, my signature of leaving uh unused uh, stones. Yeah, it's definitely a trap, especially when you know with that lady that literally just uh you know. Decided to just disappear. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Thank you for in the out. Can I leave then? If it's an we ambush, can get can to I... it from up here. Huh? Where'd you go? Wait, where do you? Huh? Yeah, 
Oh, you're right. Fine. I was like, what the heck? Where'd he go? Look out! Call oh. Use a shield strike! Hey, look at that house like go down, go down. That is brutal. Because they're still they're, because they're still not uh really dead when they you know that happens. It's more like, you know, you gotta wait until Doom gets to them. Because uh, you know, they're still alive. Especially the top half. Brain's still working, heart's still working. You know, until it's not. Switching! Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Oh no, it's only a little bit. I just went and then I just stabbed. I wonder if my, my parry, like, is that actually, um... I don't know what happened. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh it's sick. The fact that I, uh... Doing the um, runic ability while having the inner jar um, ability, I just continuously like demolishes their health. It's insane. I love it. Left side incoming. <laughs> Last one. Oh, until it goes away. Oh, I can't actually like get my shield out in time. Thinking if I can. Uh, Just hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. I was thinking if uh, if, I, if it was possible for me to uh, change to um, my fist to do uh, the the Ender, but um, I think it would just have pulled out my weapon. <laughs> Should sure use this more. I love that sound too, just a pop 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 pop. <laughs> I didn't mean to 
Do that. I can't jump down. Hey, what? Oh. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Wait, what if they accidentally, um... Yeah, um, what, what if they, like, accidentally, uh, put the moon into the earth? Like, into, like, like, they, they use the moon, whatever, and then, uh, the moon just, uh, you know, expanded into, uh, and just, like, you know, the moon just took over the, uh, the, the earth's core. <laughs> Like, what would happen then? What would happen? Can I jump down? I really can? Oh. Wait. Like, like, what would happen? Just, just the, the moon just... <laughs> Somehow we got placed inside the middle of the earth, into the earth. Probably something catastrophic. True. But what if it became part of earth? Like, like, not as like a foreign, uh, like a foreign body, but like it became part of earth in, in, in the fact that it becomes its, uh, its, its way of, Grav like gravitational pull and stuff like that. Now that would be insane. But I mean the core, the 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 Earth's core is still in the middle. It's just in the middle of the moon now. <laughs> the moon just became just became the mantle of uh, of the Earth. <laughs> the mantle. She's getting away! Uh, Come on! Hurry, she's getting away. I, I literally couldn't move forward. Like, when that happened, I was stuck. In the, in the middle, in, like, literally, I was stuck. Like, there's a wall. about the fact that when you take more. when you take their uh, powers is uh, is that if you throw your spear or do that move like you lose it oh that's just resistance oh that, that looks so cool the the purple fire oh my gosh that that resistance to bifrost looks sick oh, I found it Damn. I almost forgot about it too. <laughs> Howdy doody, Joshua Mayer. Welcome to the stream. We're having a cinematic, uh, well, chase, so I, yeah, just have it, uh, have my face cam off. <laughs> How, uh, have you been? Hope you're doing good. Hope your, uh, Valentine's Day. There! Oh, uh, well. Oh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, uh, it, Future people watching this VOD. <laughs> He's going up the waterfall.
Uh, hope the uh, stream. Uh... I hope the stream continued. I, I hope it's the same stream. I. Uh, I'm not sure. Also, is my audio horrible? That's that's the other set. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Um. Nope. All right. Uh, audio sounds good. Uh, everyone uh, is able to see the, uh, the the stream, right? As in, it's the same stream. Okay, just just double checking because um. All right. Um, okay, that's good. At least that. Um... That uh, people are able to see it now. And uh, I need to remember to cut this out of the VOD. But uh, anyways, uh. So, uh, Joshua, you were saying something. I don't honestly know when that is coming out. Um, I just know that it's coming out soon. Um, today, sometime, I think. Uh, Now, funny thing is, uh, is that I think I think actually in like probably ten hours or something. My guess. Now, the funny thing about this game, about Returnal, is that I bu I bought the game. I bought the game for PS Five. I think I've talked about this a couple of times, but yeah, I bought this game for PS Five two years ago, twenty twenty one, Black Friday. Except. A lot of games kept coming out. I got swamped. I kept playing more. Uh, I kept trying to finish those games. And then games just keep getting added. And then I got computer problems, which is has been pissing me off uh, so much. Uh, I needed to call support again. And uh, because I was supposed to talk to like a, uh, one of those uh, higher up... Um, People to talk to uh, see if I uh, to do something about my motherboard. It's been pissing me off trying to like, like it. It's it has not helped my me my mental health at all. In no way possible. So um, anyway, which is why I get a lot of B sides. And when that happened, when the when the thing crashed and didn't even give me a B side, I was kind of I was very happy actually that that no B side happened. But yeah, um, regardless, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I want to play the PC version as well, but I already bought the, the, I already bought the PS5 version. I, it's, it's still even unopened. It's like, it's still literally in its package of Black Friday of 2021. <laughs> That's how long I've been waiting to play it. 
<laughs> I just want to finish this game and then be able to play it after. Because that's <laughs> it's my game afterwards. <laughs> uh, but then I get sidetracked because I have like ADHD and stuff. So it's like I, I, I when something happens, like I got to do it. And my, also my OCD doesn't help with trying to, to uh, you know, complete stuff too. So I need to really put it put in my, all my effort to do that. Ow. I don't remember where I was. Target down. She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. But, uh, I hope you uh, get to play your. Uh, Play your game though. I assume that you either don't have a PS5 and wanted to play it on PC, or you wanted to, or you do have a PS5 and you played it already, and you just want to see what the difference is between the two. Have I been enjoying God of War Ragnarok? I have, but I do have a lot of criticisms to this game compared to the first one there's so many problems i have with just either environmental um destruction things that um shouldn't even you know the things that should be breakable isn't for some reason and like um sequence breaking of uh of um introductions like literally i well, just i just met a like a character just met a character the uh, or no a uh, uh, trace uh hasn't met this character yet but somehow already knew who this character was and what the character did and even knew the name and everything all right and then we got to this area and then they're explain and then they literally was playing is like playing dumb of like who this person that they literally like your trace literally already talked to. It was like, oh, who's this person? Oh. Uh, and then they're like explaining this person that he literally just met. So it it's it, it really just ruins the you know, the the meme, the the meme immersion, but like th literally this is like actually like it ruins the immersion just like like it's stupid oh and what i hate the most is the fact that you can't fail qtes when i say qtes i mean for bosses you cannot fail them at all and they will play the qte for you if you choose not to press the button that's what pisses me off too. It's like, why? Why are you doing this? It, it's you're just playing the game for me. I I want to see like the QTE fail. I want to see, I want to see what happens if I don't press the button and then you know and then the the uh, the execution of Kratos happens. You know that kind of thing. Like, like that. That's what I kind of want to see because like uh, because I I do more more so of a lore run or or a lore I guess lore run or a um, a, ba a lore based run where you know you're trying to find as much of the lore that they add in that people either miss and stuff like that and you know uh, you know Kratos deaths of you know from QTEs and stuff or waiting uh, longer than expected and then a QTE death happens um, those, those things like uh, uh, yeah those things fascinate me a lot to see like they actually put in effort in these tiny details to you know be able to actually uh fail them but but yeah um yeah people i i well i mean uh i i assume probably 95 percent of people maybe even 99 percent of people don't know that they can't fail boss qts some of them can i actually i don't i don't maybe one can one one there's one boss probably can i i don't remember again a lot of it couldn't um 
I don't know if you played the game. I don't want to spoil anything as you know as from of uh, how far I've already been, or if you plan on playing the game. I, I, again, I don't like spoilers uh, or spoiling stuff that people don't know. Um, you know, by you know where I am now, at least. But uh, yeah, it's like uh. Well, I guess th I guess this one is uh, I guess this one example is uh, early on anyways. It, it, it's when uh, when uh, you know Kratos and Thor meet for the first time and then they fight it off. So like uh, there's there's like one instance where um, where one instance where you know you're supposed to um. You know, mash the button to, um, mash the button to, uh, against Thor so that you can get your, you can, you know, call, recall your, uh, axe to you, right? If you just let that play out, it, it, it's a stalemate. It, no, like, it doesn't, they don't, like, Thor doesn't push back, Thor doesn't, you know, knock you out of the QTE thing, and you literally just... It, it, again, it's stalemate. You just you just keep pushing your shield against him, and that's it. Until you actually press the button, and you know, press the button and continue on in that. It, there's it, like it, th that. Then it becomes like there's no consequences to in these moments. Like there's no uh, tense moments where you know you could fail this or you could you know you could fail this and then die and then you have to redo it again or you know uh the, the fear of of, con of the consequences of you know failing it there's none of that which again i don't know why they made it like that i it's it's very stupid um it it just doesn't make sense to me why that's the fact. And also fighting like creatures in general of like giant um creatures uh like a giant uh dog like you know they're they're, they're biting you, they're pulling you except except if you don't uh you know press the button to pull it back towards you, the game does it for you. I don't know why they, like it you, you can literally just put the controller down and then the qt will slowly play it out for you it it's upsetting it's really frustrating i don't like that i don't like it that's why i have so much criticism like for this the second game compared to the first game it's it's not a it, no it's not a difficulty setting it's definitely not because because a lot of the uh, QTEs are gonna be the same, like you know, like the same animations, the same uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's always just gonna be the same, um, no matter how uh, you know how difficult the game is supposed to be. It's uh, it's definitely uh, unfailable in that sense. And I mean, also, even if it is a, di a difficulty setting, it would say, right? It would say it would, it, it, it will, uh, you know, finish the QTE for you or, or finish QTEs automatically. Or, you know, you know, like, uh, the accessibility, uh, setting in, uh, Spider-Man, um, the first Spider-Man game, they they had that they had that uh, setting where in the accessibility page where you could just do uh you know auto complete UTEs stuff. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like uh, Joshua, I remember back in the day when in a game you would fail it if you missed a button press and your character would die. Yeah, exactly. Like that. That's what I like. 
like that's what I'm excited to see because you know some a, a lot of people don't do those they, they just let it you know they they just go for it they they press the button because you know it's on screen they do it I I just let it go you're like hmm what happens if I just don't press it and then you know you find out that it doesn't matter it they just press it for you pretty much. <laughs> An example of, of, uh, I know I, I always put this up as an example, but like an example of, uh, of a very prolonged, uh, QTE moment is in God of War 1, when you're fighting the Dark Elves. Uh, so the Dark Elves ambush you, right? Um, you, you jump over, it's a cinematic kind of cutscene, you know, they ambush you, and... Uh, you know, you gotta press the button to, to, you know, counteract it. Except, if you, except, you know, there's, you know, you, you, you can wait, you know, you can, you, you can wait, it's not, you know, it's, it's kind of a long time, like, you know, one of those, uh, stalling ones where, uh, you know, you could press it now or press it in a little bit, you know, so, I let it ride, I literally let it ride for like five minutes. I, I think it was five, I don't know, a little less than that, five minutes. And literally, the Dark Elf actually, like, kills Kratos. <laughs> Which I was surprised, because I waited, I was waiting for so long. Like, I didn't think anything was going to happen, you know. One of those, like, you wait and nothing happens ever. Yeah, the, the Dark Elf literally stabs Kratos uh, from this uh, stalled, uh, like, thought a moment and I was just in in awe in awe and just like wow they actually put in this little detail into Rado's uh getting impaled after five minutes of waiting literally waiting just of nothing like it, they let it happen like that is what I like to find you know those hidden stuff but no, they just wanted to make it easier now and all that stuff. Uh, Dragonfire got to run early day tomorrow. Good night and take care. All right, thank you, Dragonfire, for uh, helping again with uh, the stream and stuff. Tomorrow, uh, will most likely, uh, hopefully, uh, I will be done with this game and I will be playing uh, Returnal, except it will most likely be on the PS5 because that's... Uh, I've been waiting for two years to play it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the reason. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. No. Sleep well. I don't know if you're still here, Josh. The uh, you know what we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine... Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. 
Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Uh, yeah, I... Wait, what? Wrong turn? I'm going this way. Uh, I was just about to ask uh, Josh if you're still here is like if you own a PS5 if you played uh, Returnal before if you played any other PS5 games or whatnot just it's pretty much that I not do anything? Okay, well that sucks. Jar Tamer. These members of Odin's army specialize in wrangling fearsome beasts to their will and can summon them to their aid in combat. Never welcome complication. Parry and strike, brother! <laughs> Wyvern. As majestic as it is dangerous, unlike Drakes and Drekki, the Wyvern is not a member of the dragon family. Their lack of four legs is more than made up for with the dexterity and speed of their wings. Seeing one take flight makes the feat seem as easy as a fish gliding through the waters of a calm lake. Wyverns were originally tamed or rather tamed at one point in time by the Vanir. Before the occupation of Vanaheim, riders developed close bonds with their mounts, which required a significant amount of trust from either party. It was well worth the trouble, I've, to I've been told, so much so that Odin's inner jar have opted to replicate it, enslaving the wyverns of Vanaheim in the process. Wow, that's, uh, horrible. There it goes. Undiscovered. This 
that? Oh, it's like an egg. It's cold. Is this? It's from Elheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ah, uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Oh, that was what Heimdall was doing. There, gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. I was wondering what uh, what it was that he took for Odin. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Can we use your spear here? Worth shooting down. what I wanted to change. Wow. But what if by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. Powerful stuff. I can't attack. Interesting. Watch us meet Heimdall. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. Heimdall, I know you're there. I've got a feeling. You 
goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. Right? If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Hey, Nani? Any like symbol on it or something? Any symbolism to it? No, it just looks like a, you know, like a Charlie Rancher. <laughs> and a jolly rancher. <laughs> Yeah, it literally just looks like a Jolly Rancher. The Jolly Rancher. <laughs> You know, one of those, uh... Feels uh, like they want us to use it at one of the... altars? <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodus Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. They one of those, uh... fur remover, uh, you know... Roly things. Say anything?
Wait, where is it? I'm so confused. Do we have it? Do we not have it? A relic? Okay. I don't know if I said it, but, uh, wh when that weird, um, uh, when that weird, uh, cut, um, when wow. that cut. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. I kind of like the, if it froze or whatever, um, yeah, I don't know what happened. There's a, uh. My debug program caught it. And good thing there wasn't a B sod, which was uh, I'm very happy about. Look out! Get off <laughs> 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 Careful, brother. You're covered in black You just failed really bad. Yep. Still very, very egros. Liking it less. I thought that was a booty. Alka. Okay. Are those bugs or plants? Oh, plants. Okay. Here, 
Oh yeah, this is the one that was that failed before. I don't even remember which one that actually failed. It's this one. like the egros from the sky the ring demo flying spears oh finally for those Wait, what's this one? We can get across from up here. Oh, 
they supposed to actually uh here like you know now instead of before so we report back to Hilda's Feeney then what we came here to help Freya we will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf okay but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces that is his concern not ours sure but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Up, up! Discovered. Ever drop anything when it dies? Do all the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Carnaptious? <laughs> oh, is this, uh, the thing? Oh, the thing. Oh, at night time it goes away. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so is there a dead end on the other side then? No. Oh yeah, I was just here. What am I doing? So I see how um how the thing is used now or used for. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowsinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Huh? Oh, is that the, uh, Traveler's, uh, dog? Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Bigvir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. 
Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Nice work with the wolves. I've never seen any clips in Vanaheim before. Yeah, that just sort of happened when we freed the moon. I've seen a lot of weird things, but a moon in a box was on a whole new level. I want to see, I want to know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Is Big Veer going to be okay? His time with the Ainherjar wasn't pleasant, but Lunda can patch people as well as armor. With some rest, he'll be fine. Okay. Your blades! Give me. I can upgrade them. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. <laughs> oh. So, what now? How are we going to rescue Freya? The others will distract the guards. You and I are on exfiltration. The Ainhryar have never been this well organized. It is troubling. We can take them. Love the enthusiasm, but remember, you and I are on rescue duty. Speed and stealth is the way. I like how he, uh... Oh, that's why. I like how he just, like, spun around. Your fire blades are looking a little cooled. Hand them over. Right, let's see what the blades look like before I upgrade. Okay, Max became like golden or something. I'm guessing there's gonna be like a red outline. Hot damn! Would these make for a painful way to go? I mean, I guess gold outline. For the goddess.
didn't mean to get that, but whatever. Means they charged when triangle is pressed momentarily after any uh, blades of a of chaos attack. It does well, I guess. Thousand, three thousand. I guess I, I'll, I'll wait until this is done so that I know how much those are. Because they could be expensive, actually. Two thousand. Thousand. Two thousand. Beagle, how is he? Mm, he rests. Any last minute preparations on your end before we spring Freya? Just this. It prepares my mind. A uh, beautiful thing. Where is that? Let's go. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. Hey, how do I use it? I do. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, We'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. 
Where are you going? We need to go rescue her brother. Let's get the thing. Dang it, I wanted to get the uh, new uh, stuff. But anyways, I am going to end the episode here, everybody, for God of War Ragnarok. Um, this may have been a little bit shorter than uh, I anticipated, but, um, yeah, a lot of PC issues, and it's really frustrating right now, and I just, I just, I'm trying, I'm trying to just, uh, deal with it, um, but anyways... I hope you all enjoyed this episode, at least for uh, the Slaughter and Hot Tea. If you enjoyed it, then please smash that like button, subscribe down below for more awesome videos, and forget to ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!